Today we are cruising around Abakaliki town, the bustling state capital of Eboyi. To check out what's happening, you know, it's been a while we moved around. You know, somehow we heard some rumors, so we decided to check out if what we heard was true, alright? I mean, you know what they say about rumors, right? There's always an atom of truth in it. So, stick with us because we've got something interesting to talk about on Waterworks Road, one of the busiest areas in this town. Well, if not the busiest, safe. But before we dive into it, let me just say this. I want to say thank you for all your likes, your comments and support so far. I mean, I see all of them and from the deepest part of my heart, I say thank you again. We are grateful. I mean, myself and the entire Ebony People TV team, we are so much grateful for your support and love. And to that effect, we want to show our appreciation. We would like to celebrate you, our dearest viewers. If you have a birthday coming up, we'd love to give you a special shout out. You know, give you a special birthday shout out in appreciation for all your show of support and love. Please send us a DM to the number showing on your screens, stating your name and of course, a picture of yourself attached two days before your big day, okay? We can't wait to celebrate you. Now, to the news proper. Like I said earlier, it's still news that's not 100% verified yet. The sources are a bit shady, okay? So don't take it as gospel just yet. But don't worry, once we get the facts straight, we'll definitely keep you updated. So there's some buzz going around that Honorable Francis Ogunanwifu is planning to dualize Waterworks Road and we're on our way to Waterworks Road. Let's go see for ourselves. If true, it's another move to give Ebony people life and make things easier for all of us. And trust me, this road needs it. I can't even count the number of accidents that have happened on that road. Very, very tragic. Let's go. And this is the Waterworks Road. It starts from this very point. This is where they call the Union Bank Roundabout. Here, there's the Union Bank. There's also the Eboy um, Hotel. I think, yeah, the former Eboy Hotel, which I heard they were relocating to the Eboy Trade Center. And yeah, this is just where the Waterworks Road starts. And on this particular road, like I mentioned, there have been series of accidents that have happened here. You know very tragic with lives lost and others severely injured the road is just too narrow for the amount of people it sees daily and it's not just cutting it anymore the number of people that commute on this road is way more than the road capacity trust me in case you do not know also the cast campus of Ebony state university which is epsu is right on waterworks road at the very end of this road that's where the campus is and tons of students and staff live nearby all right there are also banks like access zenith and first bank along the road and let's not even forget the Jainjati catholic church there's also a very big catholic church on this road as well so yeah this road is very busy i could even say it's the busiest in abakaliki now word on the streets is that the state executive council is pushing for the dualization of the road and honestly that's a great idea governor francis winfrew is really showing up for the people of a boy state by focusing on our most pressing needs it's clear he's trying to solve our problems and this road issue is definitely high on the list but wait i've been thinking here's where it gets a bit tricky Dualizing this road means some more tough decisions ahead. Like, I mean, what about the businesses, the homes and the stores along the road? What happens to them? I want you to look at the sides, right? Both sides of this road and see the number of businesses here. That is what you should focus on while we are on our way to the end of this road. 
And just like what happened at Vanco Junction when they cleared the way for the new flyover bridge, some people are going to feel the pinch, honestly. But at the same time, we have to consider the number of accidents and tragedies that we've seen on this road, especially bike accidents. What do you guys think? Is this the best solution? Well, even if it means some displacement for the greater good, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. We are still on our way because I'd love to show you till the end of this road. That's where the CAS campus of Ebony State University is located. Before we wrap up, if you enjoy what we are doing here at Ebony People TV, please don't forget to like and share this video. It helps us create even more amazing content for you. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss out on our next update. Oh, and if you really love what we do also, feel free to support us further by making a one-time donation or buy me breakfast or coffee or something by reaching us via the number now showing on your screens. It's a voluntary thing, okay? Every little bit helps us continue to bring high-quality content your way. And finally, we got to the CAS campus of Ebony State University. This is the CAS campus of Ebony State University. Thanks again, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.